Hey there guys and welcome back to Let's Play Lost Odyssey. In the last episode we um, met up with Cook and Mac on the eastbound track with Jansen and me. And now we are uh, Seth, Tolton, and Sed, our newly obtained character in the Urin sewers. So the first thing you're going to want to look at is Sed. He comes equipped with a gun. A 38 caliber magic rifle. Rifle. <clears throat> so now the good thing about a gun that you want to take note is it ignores defense. So some enemies that you fight with really high uh, defense and your normal sword attacks doesn't do a lot of damage. Is um, a rifle is really effective against it as it pierces through the armor. Now the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and put um, a good ring onto, onto um, said. So I'm going to go ahead and quickly assemble a bruiser ring. I'm going to assemble two of them actually. And I'm going to actually... Go ahead and, and assemble a crusher ring. And I'm going to equip that onto said. And I guess I can go ahead and put the power bangle onto set. For an accessory. <clears throat> now another thing you're going to want to note is that you can now link skills to said and he has very good um, very good skills such as double SP which doubles the SP obtained after winning a battle which will greatly increase the amount of SP you get and that means you will learn your skills a lot faster. Double loot, which occasionally doubles the items obtained after winning a battle. Double gold, which doubles the gold obtained after winning a battle. Which means you will now get richer. And he has the auto barrier and auto shield. Which always will have a barrier and shield in effect which is very useful and another very useful skill is double item which means you can do you can now use two items at the same time which is very great very great skill to have so what I'm gonna go ahead and do now is I'm gonna go ahead and get the double SP onto Seth so she can learn that as soon as possible And then now that everything is set up, we're going to go ahead and proceed down um, the path. So go ahead and follow the path around and ascend the stairs. you'll notice that there is something that you can repair just down the other side of the stairs. Now that you have set in your party you can now repair things by simply walking up and pressing A. Now that that's repaired, go ahead and uh, head east and exit through a large door. You're now in the conduit. Go ahead and head east and climb a ladder. And 
and you'll reach another ladder that you can climb. Exit to the north through the big door. And you're now in the destroyed passage. Oh, the goats and tanks open these holes. How about that, your worshipness? Got something to say now? Ah, uh, they can't wait to fight. Good for nothing but target practice. <sighs> Sid, stop picking on him. It's not his fault he was born with a silver spoon in his mouth. Oh, so sorry, your graciousness. But that's the way I am. I get heartburn whenever I see someone in power. Well, for the moment, Tolton has no power. Really? Hmm. All right, knock it off. He's after the same enemy we are. The same enemy? screen we are in another part of the conduit so ignore the door for now and descend the ladder that's to the left of it Southwest to exit to the next screen. We are now in the giant drain. <clears throat> so descend the ladder to the right. You're now in water. So go ahead and head south. south until you can turn east
It's over! That was one hard-fought battle. following the path east until you see a pot in the distance as well as a chest and then head north to reach it go ahead and probe the pot for three beast hide rasps and then open the chest to the right for a healing tank Now continue back to the south and then west and head north at the first cross that you come to. again. <clears throat> now in the distance you will notice a, a waterfall and behind it is a door. We're going to go ahead and enter that door to be taken back to the conduit area. Here, run north and open a chest for four Gorgon masks. Then head west and north to climb a ladder. At the top of the ladder, go ahead and operate the platform to the right to raise the gate and create a shortcut back to the big ladder we were at earlier. And we are back where we were earlier. So go ahead and enter the door we passed up to the north. We are now in the treatment plant. So go ahead and head up the stairs and descend the ladder to the right. Now here's where it gets tricky. Eh? I'm gonna go ahead and flee from the battles, that way you guys can follow me thoroughly. Maybe next time! Go ahead and head north. Hey! I wasn't ready! and then directly 
heading south across the bridge that you come to you're going to want to do is um, first pull the chest backwards the first crate that you come to and push the first uh, or the crate that's farthest to the right off and it'll fall below and then grab the chest behind or the crate behind that and continue pushing it over the crate we just pushed down now we have a bridge so that we can open the chest that is above on the pipe. And this contains a holy guard. So go ahead and equip that to Seth to get her learning it right away. Head back south and recross the bridge. And then head south and east again to operate a <clears throat> button that will raise a gate. That will create a shortcut. Go ahead and cross the bridge to the east and head north. and then north again to find a pot that we can probe. This contains a seed. <clears throat> and go ahead and climb the next ladder. And repair the next um, <clears throat> magic engine. south from here to find a chest that we can open for a cure all then head south uh, head back north and operate the button to the left to raise another gate Cross the bridge to the west and, he and head up the ladder that you come to. And above you'll see a guy that is running the shop. The laid back trader Mawal. So now's a good time to stock up on some um, items in case you need some. Or if you're running low. Also there is a new weapon that we can buy for Seth. And there is a new accessory that we can buy also called the Herbalist Badge. And if you need it, there's a uh, ring components that we can get here. Just in case you guys need some stuff. That's all I'm going to buy for now. So let's quickly go ahead and equip that new rough edge sword to set. And we 
go ahead and put that herbalist badge onto Seth as well to get her learning the accessories. Now to the left is a healing point and a save point. So we're going to go ahead and save our game. And this looks like a good uh, place to go ahead and conclude this episode. So I'll see you guys back for the next episode of Let's Play Lost Odyssey. Where we're going to continue through the Uren Sewers.